In this video, let us continue to solve more problems based on ellipse. Right here, we've got a problem which reads like this. It says, uh, find the coordinates of the foci, the vertices, the lengths of major and minor axis, and the eccentricity of the ellipse. 9x squared plus 4y squared equals 36. So, I think the first question that you will have in your mind is that about the equation of the ellipse, because we've never seen an equation of the ellipse in this form, right? Not in this fashion, not in 9x squared plus 4y squared equal to 36. We've uh, seen that in the form of either x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equal to 1 or x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equals 1. But here it's completely different. Well, what we have to do is we need to convert this equation to this form. That's all we have to do. And if you can notice, all that we have to do is just divide the entire equation by 36 because we need 1 in the right hand side. So just divide the entire equation by this number because that is what should be divided by itself to get 1. So dividing the entire equation by 36, let's see what we get. All right, here we are. We've divided uh, 9x squared by 36 plus 4y squared by 36 equals 36 by 36. So 9 goes 4 times in 36, 4 goes 9 times in 36, and 36 goes one time, right? So we get x squared divided by 4 plus y squared divided by 9 equals 1. So this finally is in the form of, you know, one of these. But which one of this is this? Is it x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared? Or is it x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equal to 1? It definitely is of the form x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared because the larger denominator is always a squared, right? I mean, it should be the major axis. Major axis is denoted by a. So that's what it is. So, so this is definitely of the form x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equal to 1. So that's done. We can write that here. It is of the form x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equal to 1. So what we can find from this is, so what we can find out from this is b squared equals 4, therefore b will be equal to 2. A squared equals 9, therefore A will be equal to 3. So B is 2 and A is 3. We've got so, so much. Now, the first question is find the coordinates of the foci. And foci is nothing but uh, it is as far as uh, x squared by B squared plus Y squared by A squared equals 1 is concerned. Foci is the coordinates of the foci are uh, 0, comma C and 0, comma negative C. So we need to find C. Let me write it here. Foci R for this form of the equation is 0, comma C and 0, comma negative C. So we need C. And we also know the important relationship that exists as far as an ellipse is concerned. We also know that the relationship uh, that there is which helps us, you know, find C, which is uh, A squared equal to B squared plus C squared. So we have A as 3. So it'll be 3 squared equals B is 2. So therefore it'll be 2 squared plus C squared c square will be equal to 3 square minus 2 square c will be equal to square root of what is uh, 3 square minus 2 square 3 square is 9 2 square is 4 so 9 minus 4 is 5 so c is given by root 5 so therefore the foci are 0 comma root 5 and 0 comma minus of root 5 we can tick off this part of the answer we found the coordinates of the foci is 0 comma root 5 and 0 comma minus root 5 Next, let's find the coordinates of the vertices. Now, vertices are given by, for this form of the equation, is given by 0, comma a and 0, comma minus a. So, therefore, the answer will be 0, comma 3 and 0, comma minus 3. All you have to do is just substitute the value of a. So, the vertices part is done. Next, we have to find the lengths of the major and the minor axis. So, let's start off with the major axis. The major axis length is given by 2 times a, which is equal to 6 because it's 2 times 3. And the minor axis is given by 2 times b, which is 2 times 2, which will be 4. So the length of the major axis is 6 and the length of the minor axis is given by 4. So we are done with this length of the major axis and length of the minor axis. And we need the eccentricity of the ellipse. The eccentricity of the ellipse is given by e equals c divided by a. So c is root 5 and a is 3. So therefore eccentricity is root 5 divided by 3. All right, so that ends this problem because we found the coordinates of the foci, we found the coordinates of the vertices, 
and we found the length of the major and the minor axis and the eccentricity of the ellipse 9x squared plus 4y squared equal to 36. So that ends this problem. Before I conclude the video, let me brief you about the problem from the start. So the first thing that we have to do is convert this kind of an equation to this form, either x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1 or x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equals 1. And we've also discussed how to identify if it is x squared by a squared plus y squared by b squared equals 1 or x squared by b squared plus y squared by a squared equals 1. The larger denominator is obviously a. So therefore, it'll you'll have to like check it uh, in terms of that. And otherwise, uh, you will have to like really uh, memorize or understand and really get yourselves familiarized with what are the coordinates of the foci of this form and this form and what are the coordinates of the vertices of this form and this form. And as far as the lengths of the major axis and the minor axis is concerned, it's the same. You just have to know which alphabet is major axis. A is the major axis and B is the minor axis. And you also have to know that, you know, to, to find the foci, we need C. And to find C, you need to remember this important relationship, A square equal to B square plus C square. All right. So, and then the final one is the eccentricity, which is given by C divided by A. So, that's it. So, that ends this uh, problem as well as this video. I'll see you in the forthcoming videos with more problems based on an ellipse.